Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Before we jump into today's video, I have some super exciting news to share with you guys. I'm going to be starting to sell a few different colors of glitter in my Etsy shop. And I wanted to show those to you guys really quickly before we jump into today's video. We're going to be using a few of these colors on the holographic resin hummingbirds we're going to be making today. This glitter here is called Water Lily. It's a super gorgeous blue iridescent mixology glitter. This one here is called paradise purple it's a super fine holographic purple glitter and it does have some metallic pink glitter mixed in with it so it has a really gorgeous purple tone this one here is cupid's crush it's a holographic chunky pink glitter and i do have a few different colors of mylar glitter as well i'll show you those really quickly this one here is called sunshine super bright and beautiful i also have a blue mylar glitter right here called ocean shores I love, love, love this one. We're gonna be using three colors of the Mylar glitter today on the resin hummingbirds that we're gonna be making. I also have this orange, it's called Sunrise. And I'll be sure to link my Etsy shop down below if you wanna go check out these glitters. We're going to be using this gorgeous white iridescent mylar glitter today. This one's called Magnolia Sparkle. And we're also going to be using this green. This one is called Lucky. And I also have a pink mylar glitter called Watermelon. We're going to be using that one too. Um, this watermelon, keep in mind if you guys do want to pick it up, it is a little bit more chunky than the other mylar glitters. It's got the cuts of it are just a little bit extra chunky and I have that listed and noted in my Etsy shop as well so definitely go check out my new glitters in my Etsy shop I'll link it down below so let's jump in and get started um, we're going to be making two resin hummingbirds today and we're going to be pouring these in layers so here we are layer number one I just took some holographic purple glitter and mixed it in with some clear resin and when I do these molds with the very fine line details what I do is I just take a, my cup um, I take my larger cup mix up my glitter and my clear resin in that cup and then I pour a tiny bit into this spouted pouring cup so I can get a nice controlled pour I only fill this cup up about halfway and I just add more as I need um, if you fill these little cups up all the way it's harder to get a nice controlled pour you can see I just added a tiny bit in there and I'm just taking my time pouring really slowly you can get these spouted cups from let's resin I'll link them down below along with my coupon code they're really great for projects like this you can get in there and get a really nice controlled pour in these molds with the really kind of fine details in them so I'm just gonna finish pouring this one and for these hummingbirds I didn't want to bore you guys to death I did this same color on both of the molds so I just included the clip of this one here but I did the same thing on the other piece as well Used the same glitter and um, did that basically off camera and I'm just going to make sure that every spot in there is filled up with that purple holographic glitter. Let it dry overnight. And here we are the next day. I'm going to go in with some of my gorgeous Magnolia Sparkle Mylar Glitter. I took a little bit and mixed it into two ounces of clear resin. We're just going to fill up the molds the rest of the way. I'm just going to pour that right in. And this Mylar Glitter is chunky. So you don't want to add too much so it doesn't kind of stick up out of the back of the mold. Just want to add a little bit, let it kind of level out, and then you can always add more if you want to too. And then I'm going to take my stir stick and just push it down, trying to make sure that Mylar glitter is laying down flat. Also taking my time to make sure that that beak of the hummingbird is completely filled in with resin super easy to make these the hardest part is just waiting for that first layer to dry so you can fill up the mold the rest of the way and on this one here we're going to go in with the watermelon mylar glitter and i just mixed in a little bit in with a half ounce of clear because i was only going to use this watermelon on the belly of the hummingbird i just wanted a tiny bit i didn't need too much at all i was just taking my time taking my little stir stick and filling up the belly area of this hummingbird here and then i'm going to go in with the lucky and fill up the mold the rest of the way with that lucky mylar glitter and i took about two ounces of clear as well and just mixed in that green mylar glitter 
and I'm just going to pour that right into the mold. Same thing, I'm going to take my stir stick and just kind of push it down to make sure that mylar glitter is laying down flat and also making sure that that beak of the hummingbird is completely full with resin. Let it dry overnight. Here we are the next day ready to take it out of the mold. And this one here at the bottom, I accidentally overfilled it a little bit. Um, so if that happens, what you can do is just take some nippers. I will link the ones I like to use down below. I get them off Amazon. You can go in and cut off any kind of overspill on your resin creations. They work really great and they're not very expensive. I use love to use those to kind of clean up my resin pieces if I have to. But here's how this one turned out and now we'll demold the Magnolia Sparkle as well. Super gorgeous. Let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments if you like the green and the pink or this white one here. I really like them both. I love the first one, how I did the watermelon mylar glitter in the belly area. I think that turned out really cute, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, and thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, off camera, I turned these into sun catchers. So what I did was I just took my little handheld drill, drilled a hole in the top and the bottom, installed two eye screws and my glass crystal beads, and now you have a sun catcher. You can see in the sunshine, they throw a lot of really gorgeous, beautiful rainbows. And if you guys want me to film like a really quick short video showing you how I drill the holes and attach the eye screws, um, let me know and I can do that as well. Just drop me a comment down below saying you want to see how I drill the holes and all that good stuff. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to go check out my new glitters in my Etsy shop. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you're all doing wonderful and I will see you guys really soon for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.